all right welcome back to this new lesson and in the previous lesson we started by setting up admin LTE theme and this and this uh, new lesson uh, we will take it even further uh, so instead of using this uh, blade directives let's use new component approach so uh, so at the end we will be doing something like this x admin layout and inside of this uh, component uh, first we will, uh, we will create this component called admin layout and inside of this component we will be pasting this code ok so instead of using this old syntax uh, we will be using this component approach so let's get started first of all let me remove this from here and uh, let me create one class called blade component service provider let me create one service provider using PSP audition make me a provider called blade component service provider ok now this class is created let's go to that class app which is inside of app providers blade component service provider so inside of register method uh, let's do blade component and the blade file that we will be using is layouts dot app dot blade dot psp file and the component we are going to register is admin layout so if we use this component then the then it will render layouts that app dot blade dot psp file so now first of all we need to uh, we need to put this class inside of uh, providers array which is inside of config app dot psp and let's go to providers array array so over here app providers backslash blood component service provider class now now let me refresh the page uh, it's not showing anything so first of all let's go to dashboard.blade.psp file and let's copy this section let's copy this section and let me remove this remove everything from here yes we remove everything now uh, let's use x admin layout component ok and inside of this component let me create one div to wrap those divs ok now let me refresh the page it is saying that unable to locate the class of uh, view called admin layout called admin layout so let me run PSP audition run quick cache and it is saying that class blade is not found so let me import this yeah I imported this class now let me run this command again now it is successfully cleared the cache ok now let me refresh this page again now it is empty ok now it is empty actually it is not displaying this part so so one thing we have to remember is inside of app.blade.psp we are using the yield directory so instead of using yield directory we need to use slot slot ok now let me refresh this page again and we are back to the previous state and we are using component approach instead of old blade directory here so see how cool is this yes I think you like this approach so I, I also like uh, this approach and I have uh, used this on my personal project as well so this much for this video 
and in the next video we will start by making our first live wire components so till now i think you like those videos so don't forget to subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading uh, videos like this so have a great time and i will see you in the next video